Okay, I'm gonna do an unboxing of a Lenovo ThinkPad T430S. This is a Core i7 model. So, just using the Intel integrated graphics. We'll see a little later maybe how those perform. Looks like ships with a 90 watt AC adapter. I could be wrong, but it looks like the size is a little bit smaller than 90 watt adapters I've had in the past. <clears throat> Safety, warranty, and setup guide. Nice. I'm guessing this is the battery. 81 plus. The new batteries apparently have a microchip in them, so older batteries will work in the T430S, but they will not charge, so I guess they don't really work all that well. Here's the system itself, nicely packed. Pull this out. So if you've had a ThinkPad before, exterior looks very, very similar. <clears throat> On the back, it looks like got the slot for the battery. The memory and wireless WAN cards probably go under here. <clears throat> On this end, we have the hard drive caddy, some, uh, SD port. This is a blue USB 3.0 and then the microphone and headphone jack. On the back we've got VGA. The yellow is an always on USB. Looks like this is the Thunderbolt in the Core i7. USB 3.0 again. Ethernet on the back. Power on the back. And then on the far side we have Wi-Fi on and off hard switch and the DVD multi RW. I'm going to go ahead and pop the battery in. Turn it over. We'll see how it boots up. This is configured with four gigs of memory and a 500 gigabyte multi DVD. You can see there is the new keyboard, the island style keys. This is my first time touching the keyboard. My impressions are it's got a nice tactile feel. Spacebar is nicely balanced. No matter which side you press, the whole bar goes down nicely. <clears throat> Touchpad, very similar to the T420, although it does seem as though the texture is a little bit finer, like the little bumps are a little bit finer compared to the T420. Got a fingerprint reader, power. All right, well, let's power it on and see what happens. Let me go ahead and plug it in as well here.
ahead and accept all the license terms. <clears throat> we'll skip connecting to the wireless for now. Once this finishes with the initial setup, we'll do a full shutdown and reboot just to see how fast we're looking at on the uh, 7200 RPM 500 gigabyte drive. After that's finished, I'm going to turn off the camera, install a solid state drive, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how it does with that. I have mixed feelings about the new keyboard. It feels really nice. Obviously I'm going to have to spend some time typing on it to see how I like it, but overall, uh, in terms of build quality, it seems really, really solid. Maybe even a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer than the T420 keyboard that I'm very used to from the last five ThinkPads that I've had have, have had the very same keyboard layout. You can hear when I press a key really very loud speakers more than what I would expect on a laptop of this size. It gets even louder it seems. Do not want Norton. And we're going to skip through all this as quickly as we can. I'll just give you a look at uh, two screens side by side here. Close this while it's waiting, booting up. <clears throat> and try and set. See if I can find the same desktop background so we can compare these two screens. <clears throat> Alright, so if you look here, we have T420 screen and the T430S screen not a lot of difference. It really wouldn't surprise me if the same panel uh, was in both of these computers. Now let me see here. Let me turn the brightness is up all the way on both of them. It seems to me as though the 430 might be just a little bit brighter than the 420. It's, uh, it's close, but looking at them side by side it does look like the one is a little bit brighter 
than the other. <clears throat> Let me turn off the overhead light, see if that makes a difference. Since we've got the lights off, I'm going to try the keyboard backlight. So it looks like that's the low backlight. I'll zoom in here so you can see it. <clears throat> low backlight, high backlight, and then the classic think light, which uh, seems to illuminate really nicely there. And then toggle off. So that's unboxing video, screen comparison between the T430S and the T420. I'll have another video up after I've got a solid state drive in. Um, before we do that, I do want to pop this open. And let's check the Windows Experience Index. Just do a quick rating with the standard hard drive and see how it, uh, how it does. going to take it a couple of minutes to run this assessment. usually finishes this second half pretty quickly so I would guess it'll be done in another minute or so Just about finished here. And the disk performance will probably be pretty poor, especially compared to a solid state drive. Oh, 
obviously this isn't a great benchmark, but Microsoft has done a pretty good job of uh, allowing you to make comparisons between systems based on these five benchmarks that they've developed. It's a quick and dirty way to look at the capabilities of any given machine. Hard drive is pretty quiet. You can hear it clicking just a little bit. It actually sounds more like a hum than a click with this particular model. We'll see what uh, what hard drive they put in it once we install the solid state drive. But overall, the system is very quiet. Even when running the CPU benchmark, the fan was just a very minor hum. If you weren't listening for it, you wouldn't hear it. Alright, just finished. Processor clocks out at a 7.2. Memory is a 5.9. Graphics for Windows Aero is a 5.1. Gaming graphics a 6.4. And the primary hard disk is at 5.9. So now we'll do a whole shutdown. See how long it takes it to shut down and restart. Lenovo claims with this Enhanced Experience 3 driver tuning and BIOS tuning that uh, their system should start up and shut down much faster than competing systems. So I'm going to go ahead and power on, click pr pressing the button right now. Click about, about 55 seconds there. I'm going to do it one more time. Sometimes the first start up and shut down is a little bit longer, just to see if it's quicker on the second time. Okay, full shutdown again. We're going to power on, pressing the button right now. So it looks like about a seven second bias startup. Seven seconds before Windows actually starts loading from the time you press the power button. Again, it looks like about 50 seconds to start up with the 7200 RPM 500 gigabyte hard drive. Obviously, you would expect that to be cut quite a bit with the installation of a solid state drive. 
that will be in another video.